personal experiences move parliamentarians to act on the resolution to access to health as a basic human right. Good evening. My name is Insinda Elman, reporting at the White Tribune Alliance Citizens Voice News Desk. Tonight, we bring you the reasons as why parliamentarians are champions of maternal health. But first, we go to Tonte Iblai reporting on parliamentary input to the resolutions, including the designation of the draft committee. Here we are at the amendment of uh, the resolution. There we are contributions from delegates from different countries, especially the delegates from Uganda, who um, called on the IPU to ensure that commitments made by government to maternal, newborn and child health are realized. He did mention that sanctions should be placed to countries that have failed to work towards the realization of those commitments. To address the suggested amendments, the Assembly elected a drafting committee, including Ulrika Carlson from Sweden, who we spoke with earlier. Well, in the committee, I will push for, for sure, that uh, we will increase the number of midwives, that we um, parliamentarians have an obligation to do that. And as well, I will uh, work for uh, to increase um, uh, the access to sexual education for all young people. It's very crucial. We need to have education and family planning. So there is overwhelming support for the draft resolution. There is a strong emphasis on what Parliament should be doing to uh, promote, to accelerate the access to health for all and to focus on uh, maternal and child health. This is very evident in the discussions that uh, have taken place. We are yet to hear anybody say anything against the provisions of the draft resolution. If anything, suggestions have been made to strengthen the language that is contained in the resolution. Now, many parliamentarians are focusing on this issue due to their personal experiences. Honorable Sarah Nyombi shares her reflections as a midwife and a politician. As a midwife, one, one thing which really struck me hard is you have been talking to a mother. As you are talking, she, her life slips away in your hands when you are watching. And actually, you can do something to help. The vivid one I remember very well uh, was a lady. We, we, we all had not realized that they had conjoined twins until the last minute we realized, and by the time we took her to the theater, the uterus had ruptured. We couldn't control the, the hemorrhage, and we had to get her blood group from another hospital to where we were, and it was a distance. By the time we got everything in place, the, lady, the woman was dead. I felt like she was part of me, and I saw her dying helplessly when we could have done something to save her. So that was a very trying moment for me. We have also received comments from other politicians, including the Rwanda's President of Senate, Dr. Jean Damasen, who says that the country is committed to fighting maternal and child mortality. Dr. Braun Matton, a delegate from Hungary, also states that we need to inform parliamentarians in Hungary on the global issue of maternal health. Whether you are a citizen or a parliamentarian, we need to hear your voice.